hey guys thank you so much for being here i really appreciate it i hope you're doing well so today i'm going to be showing you how i made this toddler bibs for my daughter so let's get started so to start off you will need pattern paper or any kind of paper that you can get and it was 12 inches by 18 inches and then i folded my paper by a third i folded six inches and then i folded it down and then i folded it again in half like that then i went down to the bottom and then i drew a curved line and then i cut it away Then I went on to the top corner, the one with the folded edge, and then I started marking the neckline. I started marking 2.5 inches, going in a circular motion like that. Then I drew that skirt line, and then I cut it away. So this is basically the neckline. After cutting the neckline, I now went on to that other corner. The remaining corner and then i marked one inches going in then i marked five inches going down then i drew sort of like a curve that is basically going to be our little armholes then i cut it away then i now went on to the back of the pattern the back is the one with the shorter side that I'd folded down. Then I marked the center point and then I drew those two little lines to sort of meet at the center. And this is what will make our back. So when I open up the pattern, it looks like that. And then I placed my pattern on top of my fabric and then I held it down with pins. Then I went on to cut uh, the outline of the pattern. After cutting my fabric, I now took my printed fabric and then I placed it with the right side facing down onto my polycotton fabric. My polycotton yellow fabric is the one that is the lining. Then I took this 100% cotton t-shirt fabric. You can get this from an old t-shirt or you can buy something super absorbent like a towel like a thin towel material or you can also use fleece but i prefer cotton because it's super absorbent and then i pinned at the bottom and also at the top Then I went on to stitch those parts that I had pinned. After stitching, I now cut away the excess fabric, the excess lining. And then I turned my bib inside out. Left to turn right. 
then I now went on to top stitch the bottom and also at the top I went on to top stitch those parts that I had pinned. After that, I now took my bias binding. This is store bought bias binding. You can also make your own. And then for the armholes, I cut two pieces which were 12 to 14 inches. And for the neckline, I cut about 38 inches. You can also extend that to 40 inches. And then I attached my bias binding like that. Then I went on to sew it on the sewing machine. After stitching my bias binding, I now went to the reverse side and then I folded it. Then I went on to stitch again on this side. So there I had fully attached and stitched my bias binding. And then I now went on to attach the armholes. And then I pinned them down and then I sewed. And at that point, the babe was basically done. And then I just tied it at the back like that. And then I also added a little decorative bow. So this is another one that I previously made before. So I made two and I think I'm going to be making more for my little one. It's a pretty nice bib. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. Bye. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you come back again. Bye.